All right, guys. Uh, opening day is upon us. Tomorrow's opening day for the Ohio bow hunters. Um, getting a bunch of camo together, going over my gear, getting ready, doing going through the checklist. You know about to wash a bunch of camo. I decided to uh, do a little gear review, a little gear dump for you. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show you all the camo I'm using, some of the gear I'm using. I'll go through my bow a little bit more, and uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the woods tomorrow. Well, uh, this is my uh, 2020 lineup, I guess, for uh, my camouflage and a little bit of gear. And uh, I'll give you the run through now. All right, here is the uh, the pack I'm using for this year. It's the uh, Horn Hunter Main Beam XL, and uh, I haven't got it set up yet. But uh, once I get everything in there. I'll do another video showing you kind of what I take in the woods, but that's my pack right there. All right, this is the bow I'm running this year. Um, it's the Elite Origin, 45 pounds, custom Selway quiver. <clears throat> Got mossy oak on the limbs. Uh, Green Mountain Tradcast, custom string and puffs. I am shooting. A 550 grain Carbon Express uh, Predator with uh, whitewater archery wraps, gateway feathers. Um, I got a 150 grain insert and I'm shooting 150 grain Woodsman broadheads. So I got 300 grains up front. Alright, here's my early season lineup. I just got a Real thin quarter zip here. I got a a scent factor zip up top. Um, scent factor pants. Um, thin mossy oak gloves and uh, thin skull cap, and then just a turtleneck to layer. But uh, yeah, they're soft shell scent factor mossy oak country. Hopefully, we work out pretty good this year. I wore this uh, soft shell scent factor last year, but in the uh, the mountain country, I liked it. Kept me pretty warm until about 35 degrees or so, and then you got to kind of step up. All right, here's my uh, mid-season kind of setup here. It's a little thicker jacket, hood, waterproof. Um, Scent Factor, Scent Factor waterproof pants as well, a little thicker, a little insulated. I got, um, what is this, uh, oh, merino wool hat, uh, some midweight gloves, and, uh, that should keep me, uh, pretty warm, uh, mid-season. Alright, the cold weather stuff, I got, a uh, it's a 10X brand, real thick waterproof windproof jacket there um i got a winter camo mossy oak hoodie to throw over the top if it snows or i got a real thick uh sherpa lined beanie real thick uh mittens here and i got a uh, some nice real thick uh bibs here for the winter so I should be set for all seasons here. Uh, boots are same as last year. I'll go over my footwear here in a second. All right, here's my footwear I got for this year. I just got uh, some wool sock liners. This is kind of some early season wool here. Just, uh, you know, they're not real thick, but just to keep them a little bit warm, keep the water off me, wear those liners. 
gets a little colder I got uh, some thicker cold weather socks and then uh, when it gets real bad I got some extreme cold weather socks and always wear the liner insulate your foot and keep it warmer but yeah that's uh that's pretty much my gear for this year uh, went with mossy oak country this year I'm excited I wore some mountain country last year and some bottom land and kind of switched in and out but I think I'm gonna go strictly country this year and uh, I'm excited with this uh, this system I got set up with I should stay pretty warm should stay pretty dry so 